and uh, this, this whole idea of playlists and YouTube hashtags and so forth, I, th- I think we should should do do more with that. I'm going to I'm going to turn on turn on the microphones because JD is here and actually Chris is here as well. Good and, morning, uh, Sarah. Here we are. JD, you're well. I am. Yes, not too bad. Good. We we missed you last week. How much? Oh, well, we noticed you weren't here. <laughs> and the week before. Yes, yeah. yes. It takes takes a little bit longer to get the studio under control. Oh, right. I'll get the whip out, don't worry. Well, that, that'll, that'll, <laughs> that'll sort it out. And um, I, was, I was just asking you about tattoos, mm-hmm. decoration, personal decoration, because that, that's a topic that's going to come up again, and I, you, you, you don't seem to be very keen on it, really. No, I don't like them. No. I don't know why. It's just one of those things which it brings out the sort of, um, you know, sort of uh, heavy culture and, uh, you know, sort of the uh, the beefy sort of <laughs> gangs, that sort of thing, yes? Oh. So you have to be in on the, gra- uh, in on the crowd to be... A I what? don't know. Something, some, well, something like that. Mm. Um, so, decoration. Um, see, what, 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 why I'm getting into this is that there's been two events that I've been aware of. Um, I think it was cust, custom, custom ink. No, twisted ink, twisted ink, and custom art. I think they all had different names. There was one about a year ago, a bit more than a year ago, which I think was done as a student project, and that was in the Phoenix. And then there's been another one at the Lemon Grove, so the Students' Union. And um, Andy Brock has, has introduced me to both of those. He seems to know about it, because there's a, there's a link between tattooing and metal music, which seems to work. Um, but there also might be a connection with, with rockabilly. This is where I'm, I'm just getting unstuck, and I, th- I think that introducing a bit of, just a bit of discussion and seeing where this is all going, it's a bit vague, but we'll see, we'll see what other links we can get. Well, the the um, I've got a website out for Twisted Ink Tattoo and Music Convention. Is that oh, what it is? Right, that's the one. That's the one. That's on uh, Sunday, the twenty sixth of April. And was that this year or last year? Well, yeah, two thousand fifteen. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's when it was. Yes. So there isn't one exactly. Exactly. So there's no reference on that website no, to to another one this week. Custom cut. Cu- sorry, Jody. Cu- custom culture is was, was the other one. Right. I'll look that up as well. Uh, with a K. With a K. K for custom. I think culture. Mm. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. But I'd, I'd so. In other words, I think there will be. What, what I've heard is that there might be another one in the Phoenix this year, uh, but it won't be called. Twisted Ink. It won't be called Custom Culture. It'll have some other name, but it will include tattooing. But you see, wh- where I've got where I've got into difficulty is that the music at uh, the one in the Lemon Grove was rockabilly, and doesn't really tie in so well with um, Andy Brock's Euro Metal. So, what I what I want to do is play the music that that was at the Lemon Grove. And then just see what um, what might hold this together eventually, if if anything does. So this is this is from the timepiece bar in in Exeter, January fifteen, uh, Delta eighty eight. <laughs> 